Campfire is a reading app for genre fiction with unlockable bonus content. We created it because we wanted to give readers a fun experience where you can read a chapter, meet a new character, and reveal their profile when it's done. There are other ways to explore the world beyond the story too, like with behind the scenes commentary and interactive maps. In this guide, we'll cover a bit of everything. Your first steps in navigating the app, customizing your reading experience, using collections, accessing bonus content, and more. Check the video chapters if there's a topic you'd like to jump ahead to. There are also some links to written tutorials in the description. All right, and with that said, let's get started. To begin, make sure you've downloaded the Campfire app on your phone or tablet. You can get it for free on the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. If your devices don't support apps from either App Store, you can still read stories on Campfire using any browser with our web app. Just go to campfirewriting.com and click read. Next, you'll need to log into Campfire. If you already have an account, use it to log into the Campfire mobile app. Once you're signed in, any purchases and reading progress you've made on other versions of Campfire will sync with the app. If you don't have an account yet, you'll need to take a few minutes and make one. You'll need an email to create a Campfire account, or you can sign in with Google or your Apple account. Once you've signed up, we'll send you an email to the address you gave us. Open it and confirm your account. Once you've done that, we'll jump back to the Campfire app. The next step will ask you to set up a display name and a username. The display name is what other people will see if you leave a review or comment on a story. Your username is the name your account will be assigned to. Usernames must be unique to each person. Next, we'll ask what you'd like to read. We only require you to pick at least one tag, but you can select any number of them. So if you love horror, fantasy, romance, and sci-fi, tell us about it. Finally, before you start reading, we'll show you a few popular settings like dark mode and vertical scroll. You can change these options at any time under your account settings, which we'll discuss more later. For now, set them how you like and press done to finish creating your account. Now that you're signed in, let's take a little tour of the app. Campfire contains three tabs along the bottom of the screen, explore, search, and bookshelf. Explore is the main page where you'll find book recommendations, newly added stories, and popular reads. Plus, quick links to your favorite genres and stories that you've read recently. The Explore tab will update often with new stories and suggestions, so check back to see what's new. If you're looking for something specific, the Search tab allows you to find a story by name, trope, and more. If you're not sure what you'd like to read, try tapping one of the genre buttons. Your bookshelf is where you save and organize your favorite reads. Every bookshelf here has a simple progress bar over the cover displaying your reading progress. Change the way stories are displayed in your bookshelf by tapping the view mode icon near the top right, switching between list and grid view. The bookshelf contains three sections, all, collections, and downloads. We'll cover those in more detail later when we take a deeper dive into the bookshelf. Before we delve deeper into reading and organizing our bookshelves, let's check out our account settings. You can find those in the Explore page. Just tap your profile picture near the top right of the screen. There are a lot of useful settings and links here, but we'll focus on the options under the Account section. This is where you can view your notifications by tapping this bell in the top right corner of the page. These may include updates to stories you've added to your bookshelf, replies to comments, or updates from our team at Campfire. To delete a notification, swipe it to the left and tap the trash bin icon that appears on the right side of the screen. We'll quickly cover your profile and settings next. Edit profile consists of several public facing details which you can edit at any time. Your username, display name, bio, social links, and profile picture. Your account details contains your private information. Edit your account's email, password, birthday, and country. Your settings offer a few ways to change the app's appearance by turning on dark mode or enabling vertical scroll to scroll through stories rather than flip them left or right. You can also edit your notification preferences, favorite genres, or how you view content warnings. Content warnings are applied at the author's discretion. Each one has three viewing options. 
hide warnings if you're not interested in being warned about a certain type of content. We recommend doing this only if you're comfortable with reading that sort of content. Show warnings if you want to be alerted to them. Hive projects will hide books from you if they contain that warning. This is ideal if you're never comfortable reading a certain type of content. Now that we've covered how to sign up and navigate the app, let's take a closer look at reading books on Campfire. Browse the Explore tab to see recommendations, newly added stories, and popular reads. Keep in mind that some stories are free to read. Paid stories will have a purchase icon in the lower right corner of their cover art and come with a free sample. The length of that sample is determined by the author, so it may be one chapter or several. You'll also notice that stories are tagged as either complete or ongoing. Completed ones are finished, whereas ongoing stories are still being written and published. When you find something that piques your interest, tap it. Or, if you want to return to the last thing you were reading, tap the Continue Reading bar. When you tap on a book, you'll be taken to that story's listing page, where you can get some info about it. Read the story's blurb, see how many chapters it has, how many extras are included, if it's part of a series, reader reviews, and more. From the listing, you can either start reading or view the story's homepage. Every story on Campfire has a homepage curated by the author. Not every homepage will look quite the same, but most will include some information about the story and some featured bonus content. There's also a comments section where you can chat with the author and other readers. Let's take a look at the e-reader next. Once you're reading a book, you can swipe left or right to flip to the next or previous page. Or tap the left and right edges of the screen to do the same. If you've turned on the vertical scroll setting, you'll navigate chapters by scrolling up and down the page instead. Tap the center of the screen to reveal the manuscript controls, a back arrow, theme options, and a progress bar that shows how far you've read in the story. Plus, in the upper right corner, the manuscript menu. This menu contains access to the story's homepage, its table of contents, and any extras you've revealed. Speaking of themes, the app comes with a few options to make reading easier on the eyes. To adjust your settings, tap the accessibility settings on the top right corner, next to the manuscript menu. On the text tab, adjust the size, font, or line spacing. You can also enable or disable vertical scrolling here. On the themes tab, you can change the page and text color, save custom themes, or load one you previously created. If you're not happy with your custom theme and wish to start over, tap Reset to Default. The e-reader isn't the only way to read on Campfire. In addition to the main story, many of the authors published on Campfire have also included some bonus content for you to check out as well. To access a story's extra content, tap the menu icon in the top right of the screen, available on the story's homepage or in the book's chapters. There's no one section called extras, but everything below the table of contents counts as an extra piece of story content. Extras like these exist in one of two states, hidden or revealed. Authors may hide certain content that contains spoilers or information that only becomes relevant after a specific part of the story. To reveal it, all you need to do is read. Extras may be revealed at the end of a chapter. Anything not revealed when you finish reading a story will become available then. Not all extras are free, however. Just like how you need to purchase many of the books on Campfire, some authors have bundled their extra bonus content into a paid extras package that you can purchase to access even more of the story and setting. Extras that you have to purchase are locked. You can still reveal a locked element, but to view its contents, you'll need to purchase it. To check how many extras you've revealed, open the Stories menu. You'll see how many you have revealed and how many you have left to find. You can also purchase locked extras here, which we'll discuss more towards the end of this guide. No two extras are quite the same. Authors create their own templates, fill them with unique content, and organize them differently. In addition, there are over a dozen types of bonus content, ranging from short stories to character profiles to all kinds of extra world building. That said, extras are usually built upon a standard set of tools. Looking at this character, we can see most of them. 
At the top of each extra, there's usually a bit of information about it here. Lots of authors like to include illustrations or relevant photos where they can. Next, we get a little info about the character. Sections like this form the backbone of most extras, as there's usually somewhere to read about the character, item, species, or other detail. A little further down the page, we learn a bit about their age and political stances, two relevant details for the story. Near the bottom, we get a few more lists, detailing some quick information about them, their physical attributes, and family. Some extras will contain multiple pages, which you can access by tapping the Pages icon on the top right of the screen. If there are no extra pages, that icon won't be visible. Most extras are built on this kind of foundation, however some, such as calendars and maps, break the mold. Let's take a quick look at how those work. Encyclopedia articles work very similarly to the rest of the extras, except they have an additional type of content, the summary. Authors may use this to summarize the article's content, provide additional links, or something else. They may also opt out of using an encyclopedia summary at all. Campfire isn't all about text blocks and lists. Authors can share custom calendars and design them to resemble anything from the Gregorian calendar to Tolkien's Hobbit calendar. While you're viewing a calendar, tap the arrows to the right and left of the current month to navigate to the next or previous one, respectively. Or, if you want to jump to a specific year, tap the Go to Date icon in the top left of the calendar. Events, lunar phases, and seasonal changes are listed on the calendar and indicated by the following icons on the calendar's monthly view. Events are indicated by a small orange dot. Lunar phases. Each major phase has an icon on the calendar and may be color-coded to each moon, especially important if the place the story is set in has multiple moons. Seasonal changes. The start of a new season is indicated by an icon. The most common seasons you'll find are indicated by a flower, spring, sun and cloud, summer, maple leaf, autumn, and snowflake, winter. To see all of these in one place, tap the events and changes icon to the right of the go to date icon above the calendar. Timelines are broken up into multiple pages, though there may just be one depending on how the author has arranged it. To enter a timeline, select it from the story's menu, then select the page you want to view. Each page contains a series of events, some of which may be further grouped into unique sections. To open a section, tap the Expand icon in its lower right corner. You can tap it again to collapse the section. To see more about a timeline event, tap it and you'll be taken to a page that closely resembles one of the character or location extras that we looked at earlier. Events may be connected. On the mobile app, that's represented through tags on the event card and below the title after it's opened. Tap the Connections icon near the top right of the screen to check the connections color key at any time while you're in the timeline. Who doesn't love a good map? Once you've pulled up one on the app, you can pinch to zoom in and out or drag your finger across the screen to reposition the map. If a map has pins, you'll notice some icons over the image. Pins can appear in one of three states matching the state of the element. Revealed, locked with a lock icon, or hidden with no visibility icon. Only revealed extras can be viewed. The rest will become available when you purchase or reveal them respectively. Tap the minimize button to leave the map. Relationships and systems webs work kind of like maps. However, here we're looking at flowcharts. In relationships, flowcharts usually depict family trees or personal relationships. Systems are more varied, ranging from a food chain to systems of government. There are a few controls along the top right of the expanded flowchart. Details give some more information about the flowchart if the author has provided any. The connections color key describes each type of connection present on the flowchart. Tap a card to see more about it, and if you choose to, Navigate to that extra. Tap one of the colored connection lines to see what that connection is labeled as. Systems, however, may not always have a flowchart. Some authors opt out of using it in favor of focusing on the description of whatever the system is describing. 
in which case it will closely resemble one of the characters extras we looked at earlier. Languages have two common uses in Campfire. Conlangs, like Dothraki from Game of Thrones, use a custom script and grammar rules. Glossaries define a few terms relevant to the plot. To browse a language, tap one of the symbol buttons below the search bar. All of the words that begin with that character will appear below it. On each, you can see the word, its pronunciation, type, and a description of it, if provided. Or, if you know what word you're looking for, you can type it into the search bar instead. Finally, research contains several types of content ranging from text and PDFs to videos and web page links. Keep an eye out for research to see notes from the author, insights into their process, or sometimes some fun music they thought suited the story. So that's how you read books and bonus content on Campfire, but what do you do if you can't hop into a story right away or want to organize your favorite reads? Shelf it. Shelving a book saves it into your bookshelf. You can organize books you save there or download them to read offline. To shelve a book, tap the bookmark button found on its listing page or homepage. In your bookshelf, each story has a simple progress bar over the cover displaying your reading progress. Or it may read new if you haven't started it yet. You can also switch between list and grid view by tapping the view mode icon near the top right to adjust how your books display. Change how stories are sorted in your bookshelf by tapping the current sorting options near the top left of the screen. Or if you're looking for a specific story, use the search tool in the top right of the screen to find it more quickly. The bookshelf contains three pages within it, all, collections, and downloads. Let's take a look at how each works. The All page is where all of your saved stories go. Tap any story to continue reading it or any story extras you've revealed. To edit your bookshelf, tap the Edit icon to the right of the search tool and tap any number of book covers to select the ones you want to edit. Or to edit a specific book, just press and hold it. When you're done editing your bookshelf, tap the cancel button in the top right of the screen to leave edit mode. Collections contain all of the same books as the all page, but give you much more freedom to organize them. You could group books by genre, spice level, length, or just pure vibes. These are your shelves to customize. Tap the plus button near the top right of the screen to create a new collection. You'll be able to give it a name, then tap create to finish. Once you're in a collection, you'll need to add some books to it. You can only add books to a collection that you've already shelved, so make sure that you have a few ready to go. Pick books to add to the collection from your bookshelf, then press add to collection again to finish. To edit existing collections, tap the more icon, which is the three vertical dots, in the top right of the screen. Note that all of the stories you purchase will be automatically sorted into a collection for you. The Purchase Stories collection is a great way to quickly find the ones that you recently bought. The Downloads page only shows stories that you've downloaded to the device you're currently reading on. You can download a story by finding it in your All or Collections pages, then press and hold a book cover and select Download to Device. Keep in mind that you must own a book to download it, meaning that you have purchased it or an author has listed content for free you cannot download and read samples of paid content that you have not purchased. To remove a downloaded story, press and hold a book that you've downloaded and select Remove Download. If you select Remove Everywhere instead, you will uninstall it and remove it from your bookshelf. Purchasing books on Campfire is easy, but just in case, we thought we'd go ahead and cover it. Stories that are available for purchase on Campfire may be offered in a few kinds of packages. The ebook contains the full ebook. If you've ever bought a book, it's like that. The extras package contains all of the story's bonus content. Exact contents are decided by the author and may range from any number of short stories or character profiles to maps and behind the scenes details. Prices for each package are set by the author. However, in app purchase prices may differ from those offered on Campfire's website to account for fees applied by the Apple and Google Play app stores. 
author's royalties do not change based on which store their stories are purchased from, and any purchase you make on one platform will be added to all others, so long as you use the same account. For the purposes of this guide, we'll stay focused on in-app purchases. However, you can check out our desktop reading tutorial for information about purchasing stories on our website. Buying a book is something we'd hazard most of everyone watching is pretty familiar with. However, extras are a little unique to Campfire, so we'll spend a little more time talking about how those work. As we mentioned, the extras package consists of all the bonus content an author has offered for purchase. The exact contents will vary in each project, so be sure to check each one to see what you're buying. For example, this novel has 32 extras, including 10 encyclopedia articles, 8 character profiles, and 4 bonus reading. Purchasing the extras package will unlock all of them. To purchase extras on the Campfire app, visit the stories listing page and make sure you've selected the extras option, then tap buy now. Review the details of the purchase, and when you're ready, tap Confirm Purchase to buy all of the story's bonus content. You can also purchase extras as an add-on to the ebook. When you're purchasing the ebook package, make sure the checkbox next to Add Extras is selected, and it will be included in your purchase. If you purchase the book alongside the extras, or if the book is free, you may need to reveal some of the elements you purchase. They'll unlock at the end of key chapters or at the end of the book, as we discussed previously. However, if you purchase only the extras package, you'll unlock all of them automatically. This makes it easy to read the book elsewhere, like with a physical copy, and still get access to all the bonus content the author's offering on Campfire. To refund a purchase, go to the app store you downloaded Campfire from. Check the Apple App Store and Google Play for information about refunding purchases through their storefronts. If you purchase a story directly from Campfire's website or the Google Play App Store, you may contact us. Returns are available through Campfire within seven days after purchase, provided you have not read more than 15% of the total story and extras. You can see all of your purchases listed under the purchase history in your account page. It records all of the stories you've purchased from Campfire, whether you got them on the app or from our website. And to all the authors out there, we also made Campfire for you. The publishing industry is going through a moment right now, so we're offering another path for anyone looking to sell their work. 80% royalties, no exclusive contracts, and complete freedom over your work. If that sounds interesting to you, check the description for more info about self-publishing on Campfire. If you've made it this far, thanks for checking out the Campfire reading app. We hope you enjoy it. If you need a reminder on any of this, feel free to use the video chapters to skip around, or check the description below to find the written version of this guide and some of the resources we referred to during it. There's more exciting stuff coming to Campfire soon, so keep an eye out for that as well. Thanks for watching.